Let us see our next program in which we have to sort a set of numbers. So sorting is nothing but arranging your numbers in ascending or descending order. We have many logics for sorting a number. Here we have to get initially the total number of elements. Here we have got 5 elements followed by our next step of entering the 5 elements say here we have 5 integers so we are entering 5 integers in random fashion our output should be the sorted list in ascending order over here so these numbers should be sorted in ascending order so how to do this using a program so you have your standard library function as your first statement followed by your main part and inside your main portion we have the declaration of an array of type int followed by nc d and swap we'll be seeing the use of nc and d and swap as we proceed further so initially to get the number of elements that we have to do the sort with we have to give the statement as enter the number of elements so the user can specify the number of elements he's gonna enter for sorting say here we have five numbers so that is stored in your value of n followed by that you're going to enter the five elements so that is what is displayed enter the five integers and the five integers are scanned using a for and a scan statement. Your scan statement is inside the for. So it will scan as many number of elements as we have entered. In this case, our n has a value to be 5. So c will be initialized to 0 and it will go for 5 times. And it will be storing the values in the array which is having the length of C and then for sorting the numbers we are going to take the sort fashion as follows if you see over here the for loop initializes the value of C to be 0 and it will run until the value of n minus 1 so as you know the array starts with 0 so n minus 1 is nothing but 4 which is the last element and for d is equal to 0 and it will run until the value of d is less than or equal to n minus c minus 1 so the value we are going to compare here is if the value of array at the position d and the value of array at position d, d plus 1 is compared whether d is greater than d plus 1 that is initially the value of d is 0 followed by d plus 1 that is the next element in your array if it is greater then we are going to exchange the numbers a simple swapping logic is used over here here if you see 22 is less than phi not 1 hence this if condition doesn't work and in the next case when our d pointer moves again further our numbers will be array of d will be phi not 1 and array of d plus 1 will be 2 not 3 here if you see the value of array of d is greater than array of d plus 1 in this case the swapping take place so the value of 203 goes over here and 501 goes over here and in this manner the next next values will be compared and it will be swapped at this position we will have 501 as we have swapped in the previous for loop and then 501 and 504 will be compared if you see this is less than 504 
so it will be in that position itself and our next d pointer moves further so similarly this goes on for each value of the numbers in an x next fashion after which we'll be incrementing the value of c so as a next step we'll be comparing the values within this term so it is just like we are sorting the values of 22 first and then on sorting further we get 123 to be in a second position and 203 in a third position followed by 501 and 504 as we execute this part further so this is the sorting logic for decreasing order here we have arranged our numbers in ascending order for decreasing order we have to use the value condition to be less than that is here instead of this greater than you have to use the symbol less than to get your list in descending order and then we have to print the descending ordered or ascending ordered list using a print function using a for loop and print the values of the array so that gives the sorted list of the numbers which you have entered let us see our second type of sorting here we are using an element of temp so let us see as we know we have to enter the number of elements which you have to sort followed by the numbers so in our main part we are going to have the section where we are going to enter the numbers and then we are going to scan each number that is being entered and store it in our array a sorting logic comes over here in this for loop initially we will be assigning the first value of the array that is here 22 as temp and the value of j is nothing but i minus 1 so that will be 0 so your temp value is 22 we are checking it whether it is less than a of j that is a of 0 it is not less than since it is equal than hence this while loop exists and the value of your array at j plus 1 that is a of 1 it's stored as your temp that is your 22 comes over here and similarly the loop on further execution it swaps the number according to the numbers value so the number is sorted so after sorting the numbers are printed using your print function using a for loop we are printing the array a of i so this is the logic of sorting the numbers in the second manner these type of programs are highlighted in technical interviews of mind tree and emphasis Thank you so much for joining GTEC on C programming. Hope you would have found C programming to be simpler than before. All the best.